Welcome back uh, at the charging table of U80. Uh, I thought I'm quickly going to explain the search pattern that I came up with this time. I sort of have to drill, know the drill by now, so it didn't take me that long and maybe some of you are interested in that. Um, so we have the convoy anywhere here in B23. We are currently in B22. We were in the southern uh, part of B-22. The convoy is heading west, so they are coming towards us. So since we are in the southern uh, part of B-22, the southwestern corner of the moving grid square, uh, B-23 is the one closest to us. I um, calculated that in about an hour, uh, two hours, I can get onto the track of the southwestern corner and by that time it should have moved about 33 kilometers to here so that's where we are going. I don't really expect the convoy to be there but just in case I have uh, been in that corner. And then um, I figured out how much this uh, grid square is across uh, north to south. This one is 103 uh, not all grid squares are exactly of the same proportions as you can see up here so uh, it's always good practice to measure that anyway this one is 103 kilometers across and um, we are traveling at 14 knots almost uh, flank speed uh, we're full power ahead right now so that gives us 14 knots and 14 knots is um, translates to about four hours for a hundred, uh, for a bit more than a hundred kilometers. Um, but we are not going right across um, because doing that or even going east would mean we would um, go across the, the moving grid square way too fast. We might miss the convoy because it already passed us. So that's why we have to scan uh, westwards basically. It's also a rather fast convoy at nine knots. Um, most most of the convoys previously have been around uh, six or seven knots. So um, that uh, justifies uh, or give, um, uh, gives the reason for, for our general course uh, west once we start the actual scanning. Um, so I decided I want to fall back uh, east, so to say, in the moving grid square, uh, 12 kilometers every time I go across. And uh, therefore, I, because 12 kilometers is, I think, a safe distance for us to acquire the convoy um, on the hydrophones, uh, because we usually dive when we turn around for the next uh, scanning leg. Um, so that's uh, how I came up with this distance here. Uh, obviously the, um, the large distance here, this large circle is 67, 68 kilometers. That's how much the convoy travels in uh, four hours, or the distance basically, that the time it takes us to go across. We can see here, we should arrive here in uh, 6 hours 10 minutes, <coughs> excuse me, and we have another almost 2 hours to, um, to get to the starting point of the first scanning leg, so that's exactly the 4 hours um, that they are going to be traveling this way. It's a bit, I mean, there is an exact solution, obviously, there, uh, there is a system of equations that you can solve for, for this position, basically. But I usually just do it graphically. I come up with the first approximation uh, by, by doing a couple of calculations and then I put down a, um, a position and then I calculate whether it's actually enough. And uh, with these distances it, it doesn't really matter whether we are three kilometers more this way or three kilometers more this way. Um, because I, I always try to be within the safe uh, safety marching but uh, tw around 12, 12 to 20 kilometers is, is safe for hydrophone acquisition 
and if the visibility is good, um, 12 kilometers is even good enough. Uh, is certainly good enough actually for for visual uh, acquisition of, of the targets. Um, so yeah, that's how I came up with this position. And then now actually we have because after that everything stays the same. Then we can basically just revert the course. Um, only basically the angle between our heading and their heading. So they are heading due west. So basically this angle here is always always has to be the same. Same as here. We can actually measure it if we want to. It's roughly 60 degrees. Um, I'm pretty sure with the trigonometric function uh, we could prove that this is the correct relation between our two speeds and, um, and the fact that we want to move across north, north, uh, south. Um, yeah, so reverting the course means that this one is actually pretty much exactly 330 degrees. And, um, and then this one obviously is just um, the same, uh, the, the reverse, which translates to 210 degrees on the, on the southern, on the southbound leg. Uh, yeah, I think um, that should work out like, uh, like it did in the past. And um, I will definitely uh, be back once we have the target in sight or on the hydrophone. Thanks for stopping by. Hello everybody. It's 6 o'clock in the morning on May 1st and um, we are a bit uh, behind our schedule. So the problem is the weather is really bad. We have thick fog and 50 meters per second wind and we only average about 13 knots while surfaced and then we have to take away about 10 minutes at a uh, maximum of 7 knots when it's submerged for the hydrophone checks and we do this actually every at the beginning of every new uh, search leg and then three times intermittently so um, we're averaging a lot less than 14 knots so if we look at this on the charging table We see, uh, I have plotted where the convoy is now, if, um, if it started out at the western edge of the grid square, it would be right here right now. And basically this is the line where we expect the convoy to be when we reach our turning point. So, and, but it still takes us another, more than an hour to get there, so we are roughly an hour behind our schedule. Or we are an hour too slow at every uh, for every uh, leg of the scanning pattern. Basically, this means we have to adjust the course, not make it flatter, with uh, in relation to to the convoy's um, main course. But um, I have to calculate exactly how much letter to do that. So um, I'm going to do that quickly, and then I'll change course and uh, follow the new pattern. And uh, I'll be back once I have an update. Thanks for stopping by. All right, I have calculated the new um, course. So I've looked at the uh, conversion table and I figured if we can average 11 knots we can cover 122 kilometers in 6 hours. So I put that down here between the two, um, basically the, the, uh, the stripe that we want to cover with our scanning pattern. So 122 kilometers takes this angle across this um, 
this channel in six hours. Um, and then I put down uh, the distance that the convoy travels in the same uh, time, which is a bit more than 100 kilometers, which would put him roughly 12 kilometers ahead of us, so I think that's, that's pretty good. So we're gonna go with this new uh, course. This is actually more like 2, 226, so 46 um, degrees veering off the uh, off straight north and straight south. Well, I already adjusted that bit here. I deviated already from 330. We're going even further. Let's see, well, I think we're actually, yeah, we're gonna stay on this course. 315 is pretty much what we want. So, um, let's uh, adjust this. And um, also, we are not going to sort of assure that we haven't missed the convoy. We're just going to assume it didn't have uh, op the opportunity yet to escape us. So we're kind of too slow. It, if we were very unlucky, it's now somewhere over here and we're never going to catch it. But um, we're just going to assume that it's actually further east and that we still have a good chance of uh, catching it. So we're gonna put down 315 here and, uh, and we are going to adjust the second leg as well. We said uh, 226, 225. Okay, and then uh, we're crossing this uh, circle here. So we're gonna dive again for a hydrophone check. Um, the weather obviously is still terrible, um, but it is what it is. It's uh, May 1st around 8 o'clock in the evening and we are going for one of our regular hydrophone checks by now we are about in uh, the center of the moving grid square almost I think we have to recalculate but um so far we haven't had any luck and uh, as you may have seen the weather is still pretty bad um thick fog uh, we have a visibility of maybe eight thousand meters i uh, i estimate so let's have a quick uh Jawohl, Herr Kaloy, derzeitige Tiefe 3, 5 Meter. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy, neue Tiefe 2, 7. Derzeitige Tiefe 4, 0. Why is the screen moving downward? Yeah, uh, not 
that I can hear anything. Let's uh, take a quick look at the map. So it's 8 o'clock in the evening. Um, I've managed to get an average of 11 knots and going across, including the four or so um, hydrophone check dives. So that uh, seems to be working. Now, as to the moving grid square, we have um, a message got in that. Um, 2347 previous night so that's now let's see that's now four it's 20 hours ago roughly so in 20 hours at nine knots the convoy travels um, 330 five or so kilometers. Let me double check that on my calculator. Yep, 334 kilometers. So, and they were announced coming from uh, BE 23. So we would have this would be an indicator for the rear um, or for the eastern edge, and this would be about where the western edge is. So Puts the western edge roughly here, and the eastern edge roughly here. Let's see. Uh huh? Yeah, that seems about right. Okay, so that means we're still. We're still in the first uh, third, or in the westernmost third of the moving grid square. I've never actually calculated how much time it would take us to scan the whole grid square, so I guess hopefully they are still in these... Um, we still have a 66% chance of finding them, if we were correct. Because we've spent now almost a day and we haven't found them, so I'm getting a bit uh, impatient. But um, let's go back to the hydrophone and check once more and then surface. I usually dive every hour and 10 minutes. This gives me roughly a distance of 30 kilometers between each dive. And then I stay, uh, I do the first check right after reaching uh, target depth, which is usually around 25 meters. And then uh, I stay under at five to six knots for five minutes, and then I do the second uh, manual check. Now there is still nothing, so um, we're going to speed up and surface again and continue onwards. Search pattern. I'll uh, get back to you once I have an update. Welcome back at the charting table of U80. Um, we just got a message from BDU that uh, there is a large convoy, and I suppose it's the one that we were looking for, is actually moving in AL88, which is the grid square just north of us. So it seems we have been looking in the wrong place. I've just ordered a course change. 
in the worst case the convoy is uh, somewhere close to this corner so we basically have to go and intercept this corner and then start a new scanning pattern so we're gonna scrap whatever we had down here and move up there I think we can also um, try to uh, max out our speed I've already ordered uh, to not charge the batteries so um, let's see it would take us 12 hours 20 at 13 knots to get over there um, in 12 hours they travel about 200 kilometers In 14 hours, they travel um, that's let's see, six, it's uh, it's 250 kilometers. Not catch up with them. Hold on. In, uh, in fourteen hours, that's two hundred and. Uh, 30 kilometers roughly, right? 230 in 14 hours. Okay, yeah, we're gonna head this way. 293. And then we should be able to intercept this corner. This one actually here. And then we can set up a new pattern. Um, this is 347 kilometers. At full speed, we still have about 2,000 kilometers. Okay, that's good. And the other, we, we are somewhat at an advantage because we actually have to go across their um, path. So we might be lucky and find them while trying to intercept this, um, this corner. So we, might get, we just might get lucky. But um, in the worst case, we just have to do the whole scanning again. Although there, there is going to be some uh, wasted effort for, for the areas that we are going to scan by by moving across, but uh, I don't think there is much we can do about that. Um, let's see. Now we have to exchange a couple of guys here. Can we, we don't have our we're gonna switch them out. I, don't, I want uh, to be as efficient as possible. So 
So I'll get back to you once um, once I have an update. Um, we might go for a dive here and there once we are inside this path to increase our chances of finding the convoy as well. All right, uh, I'll be back hopefully with some sightings. Uh, actually, I changed my mind um, because I just realized that they were first announced in BE23 and then they were announced in AL88. I'm going to assume it's the same convoy and therefore I'm going to assume that um, they are in the southern portion of AL88 and thus we are not going to chase this corner up here but instead we are going to chase the center point of the western edge which we can find like so In eight hours they travel 133 kilometers. going to do a hydrophone check uh, over there anyway, so they should be ahead of us, we should catch them. But I suspect they should be somewhere around this line, around this latitude here. So if we're lucky, we find them before we actually have to travel there. Alright, um, I'll be back. Hopefully soon. Mm -hmm. 